guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to talk about the brand new foundation from Giorgio Armani, and that is Neo Nude. If you wanna find out about it and see how I get on, then keep watching this video. Okay, so today I'm gonna to review the brand new foundation by Giorgio Armani, and that is the Neo Nude. So this is the box, it comes in a sleep box like so a nice box um it's nothing special it obviously has their brand logo just there like so and we will now open up the packaging now i've looked at this already obviously because i just had to have a look to see what it looks like in my honest opinion i think it's quite um it almost looks more like a skincare product which um i will go into detail of that but i wouldn't say i wouldn't think that it was a luxury product in any way I wouldn't say it's a luxury foundation it's quite a plain simple packaging um, it has a top like so and then we have the foundation top like that so this product was £32 I bought it off the John Lewis website and I wish I bought it a little bit later because it has now come down to <clears throat> it's now got 10% on John Lewis so it was originally £32 but you're getting it cheaper on the John Lewis website um so I'm just going to read a quick description of it just so that we can see if we are ticking the boxes with our review so to start with it says it is a hybrid foundation that provides a fresh healthy looking complexion with providing your skin with hydrating benefits which is obviously really good it's a good thing to come from a foundation especially when it's obviously a lightweight foundation you're going to get that nude um skin looking complexion this is exactly what i expected with the name neo nude um it's easily dispensed um mineral pigments it offers a buildable which again i'm quite happy with that but it doesn't actually mention here um whether it is like medium coverage um I think this is obviously going to have quite a light coverage and then you're just going to build it up. It doesn't go too much into detail. When you're having a lightweight product, it's something you're probably going to wear in the summertime when it's too hot. So it doesn't have any SPF in it, which is um, a little bit annoying. Um, and I would think that that would be the best kind of thing. So they do have 24 shades and how they operate their shades is the one point, well, you have zero, 0 0.5, one, and then 1.5 and so on. But the only thing that they don't have is they don't have for like your cooler tones, your warm tones, yellow tones, etc. So again, it's another issue that they don't have, but they have got a wide variations of tones. Having that one and then a one, uh, <clears throat> having that one and then a 1.5 is amazing I love that um but I do wish they had obviously thought about the um yellow and pink undertones which is very important so I'm going to apply this today with a brush and then also a beauty blender so I'm going to do one half brush and then one half beauty blender I've already primed my skin using my Estee Lauder the mattifier so I am just going to put some on my back of my hand like so I hope this matches me I noticed in my benefit video if you watch that that it was maybe a bit light for my skin <laughs> I did realize that in the end so I am a I do personally prefer putting um, foundation on with a brush. If you've watched my previous videos, you just know that. But I think it's maybe better if I did do a brush and a um, beauty blender. You guys can see for your preferences whether it works with that or not. So I'm just going to take a mirror. So I'm going to do my brush side first. And I'm going to use my buffer brush again by my new favourite brushes, Jess Up. So now I am going to apply with the Beauty Blender, which I don't do very often. I never use a Beauty Blender. I used to, you know, when I was kind of starting out, but I realised that it just wasn't working for me. So I thought, let's not. So this is a... Got some fluff there. So this is a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and we're just going to pop that on 
like so. Okay, so that is the first layer with the Beauty Blender. Because this is quite a lightweight product, I can instantly see that the um I can instantly see that the Beauty Blender is soaking the foundation obviously a lot easier and the brush side you're seeing a little bit more coverage. So so far I can definitely tell that I'm definitely going to be fair. <clears throat> I can tell that I'm definitely going to keep using my brush for this product because I don't want to be wasting product using this. So I'm going to build up again on this side. Okay, so that is the second layer with the brush on. I'm quite happy with that layer for sure. I don't think I'll need to put on another layer with my brush. So let's try and see how many layers we're going to need on this side. So the Beauty Blender side is done. I only had to put another layer on as well. So only so both sides had two layers each but I did put an extra layer on my cheeks here because my cheeks like redness was still slightly coming through. So it did need um, like an extra build up on the areas that redness was coming through. I am getting a slight bit of separation on my nose, which I feel like I'm gonna probably mention this in every single one of my videos. So um, sorry about the repeating, but I have mentioned in previous videos that I do tend to get no separation and it's something I notice very quickly, but I can sort it out with powder, so I'm not going to worry too much. I'm not getting separation on my face, which is amazing. Honest opinion on this product. So I'm going to first talk about packaging, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I am slightly disappointed for £32. I really think it would be just to get like a luxury packaging would be so amazing. It's the first thing you look at when you open a product. Yeah, I do think this is quite a cheap looking package. So as I mentioned, it's £32, which for a Giorgio Armani product, I expect, um, I think, for £32, it's not too bad. Only issue with it is the fact that it doesn't have SPF. But we're loving the fact that it has 24 shades. So it gives people a lot more options and it widens their market a little bit. Whether they're kind of like, they've got like, I don't know too much about the shades that I need to figure out. It didn't really mention anything, again, about pink or yellow undertones, which I mentioned quite a lot. But I think that's really important because some people do have that and some people just, you know, their foundation maybe doesn't look like together or nice if they don't have the product for that. So I definitely think, again, it's a luminous foundation, but I expected that. It's exactly what it says in the description. I can definitely feel the benefits of like hydration. It's very light. I would say that this is lighter feeling than the air stick for sure. It feels expensive, which sounds really crazy. But what I mean is it it's actually doing what it says. I have got this light on me and it's very, very hot with the ring light. So I am not feeling like the makeup sweating off me. It feels so light, luxurious. So I definitely would recommend this foundation. It is amazing. Like I am just delighted that I purchased this and it's a keeper for sure. So don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos coming soon. And also remember to pop on to my previous video because I have a lovely giveaway um, available and if you want to find out the details for that then get into that video and you'll find out. So we will see you next time. Bye!